Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video for you. All of the crafts in today's video are going to be themed by the movie A Christmas Story and everything that I use can be found at the Dollar Tree. But before we get started, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. So for the first craft, you're just going to need two of these frames from the Dollar Tree and some free printables. So I already made these for you guys. You can find them on my blog. I will leave them listed down below. So I did this really fun Bumpus one with the dog eating the turkey. And then of course I had to do the leg lamp where it says fragile on top. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna remove everything from that frame. The only tip I would have is I like to actually use the glass as a backing because I don't love to have that glare. So I'm just going to be taping that free printable onto the glass, but I do want to use the matting. I think it gives it a really, really nice appearance. So I'm just going to glue that to the glass, make sure that I have it all situated properly, and then put everything back into my glass. And you'll see here that I printed my prints here on some colored cardstock because I thought it gave it a little nicer touch, but you can definitely just print this on regular printer paper or some white cardstock or a different colored cardstock, whichever you choose. So once you have it all situated, just put it back into that frame and push those tabs down and then you're going to repeat that same process over again for the other free printable. And that is it. It is super simple. It takes all of maybe two minutes and it only cost me $2 since I was able to print these two prints at home for free. Next up, I will be recreating this super popular leg lamp. So for this, I'm going to be starting with this wine glass that I got from the Dollar Tree and some cardstock. So it's a little hard to see the difference here on camera, but I'm using a yellow cardstock here for the shade. And then I'm going to be using this tan cardstock for the leg. And I'm also going to be using some black ribbon. And I picked this one up, I think at Michael's, but you can find a very similar one at Dollar Tree. So here I'm just making a template for that shade and to do this I just taped together two pieces of printer paper and now I'm wrapping it around the glass in kind of a cone shape and then I'm going to take a pencil and feel about an inch to a half inch above the rim of the glass so you can feel it here with your finger and then just make a little pencil line right above it and then do the same thing for the bottom there and then you're going to take it off the glass and then just cut right across the paper on those two lines. Then I just placed it back onto the glass to make sure that it fit properly and to check if I needed to do any more adjustments before I moved on to cutting out the real shade. So I just took it off here and then now to make the actual shade, I'm just gonna cut this one and then you'll see here, I'm going to be measuring it up on my cardstock. And I said for this one, I will be using a yellow cardstock, but you could also use some yellow construction paper for this. And you'll see here that my template is a bit too big for that piece of cardstock. So I'm just cutting off that little extra piece there and I'm taping it just to make a nice long piece. And then I'm going to cut out that cardstock. So it is the same shape as my template. So here it is all cut out. And now you're gonna see, I'm gonna wrap it around my glass just to make sure that it fits. But also I want to make those little decorations that go down the side of the lamp. So I'm not taping it on yet, but I'm just kind of holding it in place and then just making two lines that go down my lampshade here. And those are gonna be just my kind of like template area for those little black lines, those decorative lines. So you can just draw them on with a Sharpie marker, but I had this ribbon on hand, so I figured I would just use it, but it was a little bit too thick. So I'm going to be cutting that ribbon in half. And then once I did that, I'm just going to be hot gluing them onto that cardstock. Now to make the fringe that goes on the bottom of the lampshade, I'm just cutting a piece of ribbon that's long enough to fit that full length. 
And then I'm going to be folding it in half here just to make it easier to cut the little fringe. So you just want to make a bunch of small cuts. Just be careful not to cut all the way through. And now once you're done with that, you're just going to be hot gluing it to the back of the lampshade here, the full length. And that is it. It is pretty simple. Now to attach the lampshade to that wine glass, I just used some tape. You could glue it, but honestly the tape looked just fine and you're not going to really see the back anyway. And now it is time to make the leg portion of the lamp and it is super simple, I promise. So you're just going to need a piece of cardstock and you just want to make sure that it is long enough to cover the stem and then you're just going to sketch out a leg. And I promise it is a lot more simple than it seems at first. It's just kind of like some really vague lines like you can see here. And when I was happy with it, I just took a fine tipped Sharpie and outlined that full leg. And when it came to the shoe, I just made a little curve line here and then I filled in the shoe with a black Sharpie. And to finish our leg, we of course have to give her some fishnet stockings. So to do this, I just took a scrap piece of that cardstock and I'm just making a series of diagonal lines going all the way down. And then I'm going to turn it and do it the other way. It's a little bit easier to see than it is to explain but you can see here, I'm kind of just making a diamond pattern going across the whole leg with a series of lines. So here it is all done, and I'm just going to be cutting that out now. Finally, you just have to tape that leg onto the stem of the wine glass, and that is it. You're all done with your leg lamp. And now you can put a flameless candle in the top of that wine glass and light up your leg lamp. I think this is so cute and it's super easy and I guarantee you it will bring a smile to anyone's face. This next DIY, you're going to need this free printable that is also on my blog. I, again, I will leave that link down below. And I'm also going to be using some red paint and some wood. So this was just a scrap piece of wood that I already had on hand. But if you are able to find the little wooden houses at Dollar Tree, those would be perfect for this. But I couldn't find it, so I'm just going to be using this piece of wood today. So you'll see here, I'm just taking that free printable and kind of just putting it on the piece of wood to figure out where I want to be cutting it. So once I kind of situated it, I'm just going to be making a pencil line across here. Then I measured out to where the center of that board was. And then I just cut out my piece of paper. Since I wanted to turn the little wood block into a house and make a point at the top, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be cutting into that picture. So I just measured down about an inch and then used a piece of cardstock to make a straight line from that center point that I made earlier down to the side of the board. Here is my board all cut out into a little house shape and now I'm just going to be painting it red. And the side that I'm going to be putting that printable on, I am going to leave that just the natural wood color. So here it is all painted up and dried. And to attach that paper, I'm just going to be using some glue. And then once I place it onto that glue, I'm going to be using some matte Mod Podge to seal in that paper. Just maybe don't use as much Mod Podge as I did because that's a little bit too much. I gave it about 45 minutes to dry completely. And for the final step, I want to add some ribbon. So I have this white and red one. And this one is from Target, but they have a very, very similar one at the Dollar Tree. And this twine is from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go in with that twine first. So I just cut a pretty long piece. And I'm just going to twist it around a couple times and then tie it into a knot and cut off the extra string. And then I'm going to cut a smaller piece of that red and white one and just wrap that around a couple times and then finish that off with a bow. that is it i think this looks so cute with that little leg lamp right here or would look awesome on a tiered tray and for the last diy i have for you guys today you're just going to need these rub-on transfer letters as well as some white wrapping paper from the dollar tree 
I'm also going to be using these three hardcover books. I already had these on hand, but if you do not have any hardcover books, you can pick some up at the Dollar Tree. They have a very large selection. So the first thing you have to do is just wrap all of those books in the white wrapping paper. And if you guys were around on my channel, I think it was in October, I did this exact craft, but for Halloween, and I created a All Hallows Eve book set. So this time around, we are of course going to make a book set that says A Christmas Story. Once you have all three of those books covered in that white wrapping paper, we can move on to the transfers. So now I'm just going to individually cut out all the letters that I'm going to need to spell out the words, a Christmas story. Now to transfer them onto your book, you're just gonna peel off that white paper backing and then you're gonna hold it up. So you wanna put them all the way to the right of your books and then you just wanna rub it with your nail and it will come right off. And I love these transfers. They're super, super user friendly and they look so professional. So for Christmas, you just want to start off all the way at the right again and just kind of spell your word backwards. That way you know you'll have enough room for the full word. And once you have all your transfer letters on, you just want to stack your books up. And then to finish it off, I am just going to be using some candy cane ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree to tie them all together and make a really pretty bow on top. And that is it. I love this craft because it looks so cute and it does not damage the books at all. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these DIYs inspired by A Christmas Story. I know I really, really love this movie. It brings a smile to my face every year when I watch it with my family. And these crafts just kind of make me think of it. So I just really adore them. If you guys enjoyed this, please do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up.